All right. Well, Candy, it looks like it's time for sponsorships again. Thank them. All right. Uh, first, I got to thank the guy, Gift, for giving me and Candy this opportunity. And so with that being said, shout out to Gift Time Rugby Network, rugby news and entertainment site. Focuses on spotlighting rugby players and events through live sporting broadcasts, sports talk shows, podcasts, spotlight articles, and other original programming. Gift Time Rugby Network, translating rugby for you. Find us at www.gifttimerugby.com or on social media at Gift Time Rugby. Next stop, Padol, where students have raised thousands of dollars for school. This summer, they're debuting their Universal Scholarship, um, which is where students can fill out one application and apply to thousands of scholarships at one time. Sign up at padol.com slash come on app. And let's not forget our Memphis inner city rugby, expanding acad um, academic and athletic opportunity in low-income communities through the power of rugby. Excellent. Also, we're going to just leave these last few shout-outs out here for Struma High School for the use of their facility. Visit Baton Rouge for this lovely place to play, this wonderful day that we're out here. Gordon McKernan, injury attorneys, get legal with attorney Tyler. Health Enhanced Foods, Mark Steve Guillory, the NAACP, and Louisiana Rugby. You guys. One hundred and forty four meters by seventy meters. Fifteen or seven aside. Run or kick forward. Pass backwards. Tackle low and proper. Rugby is one of the fastest growing sports in the nation. Men and women of all ages are picking up the ball. We're entering a new generation of rugby. The Gift Time Rugby Network is here for you. We want to inform you. We want to entertain you. And we want to provide the best live coverage of rugby events that you can access. National, club, college, and under 19. Gift Time Rugby Network is here to translate rugby for you. Check us out online and don't forget to subscribe. And oh snap, the ref is definitely doing the coin toss and going over the rules with Morehouse and Preview's captain. What do you see in this matchup? I don't know, but it's going to be good. I love what I'm seeing here. This is why we're here. The day has gone by so fast. Has it really? I'm kind of sad this is the last game. Of is the it? Evening. It's okay. You have 80 minutes to enjoy. You are correct, and I'm exhausted just thinking about them running down this pit for the next eight minutes. I hope I can retain my voice this long. This looks like something to scream about. We need a second chair. <laughs> it's crazy how far back the chairs have to be when the game's all the way up here. I feel so tiny. Oh snap, this game has a national anthem. It's official. Could you, you want to sing with these people? Yeah. Okay.
right, ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem. We should be ready and underway. It looks like we have all of our starters on the field. I would say next time, though, they should definitely invite me to sing the anthem. I would have. Oh, snap. Are we going to keep singing? Verse? Hallelujah. Yeah. We have the, we're in New Orleans. We do. Wait, we're in Baton Rouge. We, are. we have the jazz but this is of the national anthem. Mm, this one I could get with. It's a little smooth like that. You feel like it's all velvety. Yeah. Oh. I'm being nosy. Yeah. Prairie View is going to be our team in the purple and gold. That's not LSU guys, it's Prairie View a and L. Thank you. Lastly, we're going to have Morehouse in the maroon and blackish. Oh, so much sportsmanship. Everybody's high-fiving and dapping each other off. It's a beautiful thing to see. That's what I love about rugby. We're all friends on and off the pitch. I mean, except during the games, but, you know. Ooh, I haven't seen the pitch like this in a minute. We got 15. This is what I love. This has my heart. And I am in it to win it. There's some good stretches going on right now. If you're a forward, you love 15s because that mainly means you don't have to run so much. Um, oh, that looks like a whole marching band outside. I love Doesn't it. it? I love it. All right, kick is up. Prairie View with the retention. All right, he's going straight into traffic. Oh, I heard the ref screaming. That was a mall, but it was quickly brought down. All right, in the first whistle of the game, it's going to be a penalty on Morehouse. Ball's going to stay with Prairie View A&M. They had to get back 10, and they did it with the quickness. Ooh, and they kicked the ball for territory. Oh, he was kicking to the And it's going, oh, it bounced back in. Oh, knock on by Morehouse in trying to gain that ball back. But that was beautiful, a beautiful poop. 
by Prairie View A and M. Now this is what you call a full scrub. So here you have the type eight. So you have the forwards from both sides, so number one through eight. You have the two props, number one and number three, and you have a hooker. The hooker, like in seven, is to hook the ball back, and so everyone supports the hookers. You have four and five who are the locks, and they lock the scrum into place. If they fall, the scrum falls, and I would hate to be a lock. Um, and then you have the flanks on either side. They're just the quick players. Once the ball goes out, they go after whoever has the ball. And you have the eighth man, who is the very last person, and essentially they kind of... I would call them the, the theory. The yes, theory. That is a good word for it. And then you have obviously the scrum half, who's the person that, you know, puts the ball in. This is what I do with you guys. And they, oh, that's a beautiful scrum. And they're driving. Morehouse is driving, but it looks like Prairie View is going to hold there strong enough go. just to get that ball out. Oh, All right, the and they tried a nice switch, yeah. but they ran into a player. That's a nice crash we got here. Morehouse with tackle finally brought down. We have a beautiful ruck forming here, ladies and gentlemen. However, it looks like there's going to be a penalty, and the ball is going to stay with Prairie View A&M. Looks like a quick tap from my highlighter friend. Was slowed down by my ref. So what do you think they're going to do here? Are they going to run it forward, or are they going to give it to a forward? Or a kick. Oh. All right, so we have kickers, ladies and gentlemen, who look like they'll be, you know, kicking for territory. Uh, first line out of this 15th game, so you're about to see what a true line out is. So again, just like soccer, we do have to get the ball back into the field somehow. Um, but instead, we lift people in the air. So, you know, that's why rookie players lift all day. Everything that can be lifted, we do lift food to our mouth. I'm doing that now with chips, guys. <laughs> I'm being judged. Now, forward's gotta eat. And you do have to match numbers. So if your team has five people in their lineup, the other team has to match the same five people. Well, that's a beautiful lineup. Okay. Ref direct the ref is definitely directing traffic here. Oh, look at this dad and all. Oh, that was beautiful. Ooh, this is some depth. That's they understand that. Oh, oh, my goodness. What a beautiful tackle by Morehouse. That is why you don't do that. So the ball went up really, really high, and he reached overhead to get it, and it was a full body shot from the front of Morehouse. And then a not releasing penalty. Oh, I'm sorry, a knock on penalty to Prairie View. Morehouse will have their first chance with the ball this game. Oh, I'm sorry. Their first chance with the ball looks like it's a scrum. But they were holding tight, so let's hopefully let's hope that they can retain the ball this time. I mean, typical rugby game. You know, you have the forwards going to work and the backs just chilling. They are chilling. That is a very low scrum. How beautiful is oh, that? Sure. And it's turning. Who's not steering their side? Typically what happens when one side is power heavier than the other side? You turn that scrum. And most times if you restart it, let's see what happens now. It's like a reset. Everyone has to push. Gotta do something together as a team. Crouch, bind, it, sit. Oh, I missed those words so much. You know, I missed the good old days when it was they had the pause and then the engage. Engage didn't have so much more power than that. No. <laughs> I hated engage. Because he'd stay in and we'd all go forward. I mean, it's just because you have the pause and then engage and it's like all you got into that scrum. That is a low scrum though. Alright, wait. It's still spinning a little bit, but Morehouse did retain and we are coming up fast. Right. All right, Prairie View. Oh, is that a neck tackle? It looks was. like. Now, you even got... if you do start high, you have to attempt to go low. 
Okay, and we also need to run forward if you have the ball. You want to run straight. Because if you run sideways, all you do is cut out the positioning for your teammates. Well, you have gained no advantage. All right, we have a four. We have a lot that's going with some full steam ahead, but he was quickly brought down. We have Bags dancing on the inside. Down goes our eight man. There we go. All right, so... This is a this is a beautiful series. This is the longest it series is. we've seen thus it far really today. Is. Okay, and we have a breakaway. A breakaway. Break Morehouse with the breakaway. Oh wait, they're back in traffic. That's the best part about work. You're watching people get to work so quickly. Oh, for sure. Like they may have gained like 12, 12 to fifteen, and look how oh, yeah. quickly Prairie View retreated. We had a Ford that just broke through the line. That's a beautiful work. But also uncontested. Oh, snap. You got to ruck for your teammates. This is what I'm talking about. We drive with the legs. Are we about to have a fight? No, no, ma'am. Not at the HBCU Classic. We are not. No, we don't. It looks like the penalty is going on Morehouse for not releasing the ball. Prairie View is going to retain it. And they have their kicker out. And they're going to be kicking for territory, most definitely. Have another line out. Very smart play by Prairie View. This is a good rugby so far. Mm -hmm. Game makes my heart All right, Rugby Classic line out. Prairie View throwing in. They're matching numbers, getting their feet set, and the ref is constructing his tunnel. All right, Prairie View retain the ball. Morehouse off sides. Trying to disrupt the pass. And it's going to most definitely be a scrum down. Ref explaining the problem for you people who thinking, you know, rugby might be a bit much for you. Understand the ref do talk to you sometimes throughout the game to give you some advice, and that's always beneficial. Your teammates will be coaching you the entire way. But guys, this is a beautiful game thus far. These teams are very close, closely matched, and we have a forward who is crashing, and I mean crashing it. I love a good forward crash. Trying to get through. They are swallowing it up, though. Morehouse is swallowing Prairie View's attempts to crash, and there's a knock-on on Prairie View that's going to result in a scrum to Morehouse. This is great territory defense by Morehouse. Oh, I'm sorry. They gave the ball back to Prairie View. They're going to play advantage, and Morehouse is going to somehow come away with it. The ball has been poached. And Prairie View with the penalty, allowing Morehouse to retain the ball. Nice rugby. Morehouse chose to kick the ball, but the wind brought it back into the field. But what a beautiful save. They are some power. athletic. I'm telling you, maybe I need their workout program. Oh, and there's a Prairie View player down in the backfield. I love how the coach is out here in his slides. He's so comfortable looking. Oh, for the, sure. And the scrum is going to be awarded to Prairie View on today. And the field lights have come on, ladies and gentlemen. We are here for the long run. Long haul. Minutes left in the first half. Okay, so we have an injured player for Prairie View, but it doesn't look like he. Oh no, he's coming off. Right. That's 
get this scrum set. Crouch bind set. The Prairie View player is not coming off the field. He looks like he's just going to spend some time out with the winger to retain his breath. The heart of a rugby player. The heart of a forward rugby player. For sure. You can definitely go through a college team. <laughs> a lot of kicking. A lot of kicking. You know sometimes when everyone gets tired, it just turns into a nice game of hot potato. <laughs> Too early to be tired. Yep. <laughs> my my college days. Not mine. My team didn't kick like this. Spring Hill does not kick like this. For those of you wondering where Spring Hill is or what it is, it's a Jesuit college Alabama. in Mobile, Alabama. Oh my God! Morehouse with the steps. This young man is moving. Dreads just are flying. It's the dreads, I'm telling you. Oh, wow. Oh, he is refusing to go down without a fight. Remember the number one stand up. Looks like we have another player down. Is that my dreadhead friend? That is my dreadhead friend who refused to go down. All right, round of applause for this young man. He is staying with the game. I'm telling you guys, rugby 80 minutes and pretending you are not hurt after giving your life on this field. All right. Morehouse awarded the penalty, and they are going to take that ball right on up. Some beautiful tackling going on here by Prairie View. They've gotten lower. That's a strong ruck. Ball's out. Prairie. Morehouse is just crashing their way through, guys. All right. Going to get this ball out. All right. All sides on Prairie View. We're going to have a quick tap to Morehouse. And they are bobbing and weaving through traffic. Okay, we're going to go down now. And there's the rock. I love that they're going down without a fight, though. Oh, snap. Morehouse needs to come on back. The ref called it back. <sighs> what do you see in a lot of here? Confidence is key. Oh, for sure. They are some confident players, some big confident players at that, guys. But they're just not letting the other team have it. They're both matching power for power. Right, we got a ref going on and letting them know what the infraction is for. And I believe this was his warning. This one should be a yellow card on Prairie View. And in rugby only, the team captains are allowed to talk to the ref. It's a respect thing and it just makes it more organized. The eighth man with the breakaway. I love eight mans because I am one and he's letting y'all know. All right, eight man attack. Let him all the way down to the try line. And Morehouse is retaining possession and it looks like they're going to crash this in. And this is where people have try fever. AKA people to the try line and instead of using their teammates, they, you know, think all they right. It's a penalty in the Prairie View, which led to the try by Morehouse. The first try of the game. First try of the game. All righty. This is true rugby here, ladies and gentlemen, where you work and you work and you work for about 16 minutes. Somebody finally goes in. 
This is an evenly matched, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it really is. And we love this. This kind of game is beautiful to watch. This is why we're here. Shout out to Morehouse and Prairie View. All right, so what did you see with that opening? I would say I was getting kind of nervous at the trial line because they had their winger and they had all the openings on, what side is this? On the left side and everyone keeps trying to go in the middle. Yeah. So it is nerve wracking because I have been there. We all get trial line heavy, but I mean, I think the penalty kind of helped them and the eighth man went in for, for the kill. Ultimately, that was a very nice job done. Good team effort too. I think for me, what I'm seeing the most is that their forwards, their forwards are very even. They are almost what and what, and it is not allowing the backs to get away with much. Oh, they are freaking powerhouses. It's like they are definitely routing their backs inward and making them worse. We're trying to go with the forwards, and these forwards are not happy. It's a very beautiful thing to see here. I think my favorite part thus far has been that they are so passionate. Oh, for sure. During every call, every play, coaching each other as the game goes on, and that's a beautiful thing to see. That's um, what we expect in HBC rugby. Oh yes, come right at the edge, it's finest. His cleats are beautiful. Oh, hey. Okay. Here's an exploded swarm, looking like a marching band. I would not know I was in the band. I love band. I was in the drum line. I was too. Ah. Oh snap, so I played tenor, I played snare, and I did cymbals, but I, I, if the bass was going to stand there, I'd hit it. I wasn't going to march with it. Bass two and bass five. Oh snap. Man, I love being in the drum line. It was a great experience. But my worthy has my heart, and so we're here. And I will love it forever. Oh, for sure. Until I am old and weak. All right, so the reset kick from Morehouse did not go the full ten, and so now we have a scrum that's going to be set to Prairie View. And for those of you who are wondering, the reset kick is pretty much like the kickoff in football. It happens every time somebody scores. And so if the ball doesn't go ten meters, then we do have what's called a scrum. And it's like Candy said, when all the forwards are pretty much contesting for the ball. And right now it looks like Morehouse is trying to retain or steal the ball from Prairie View, but Prairie View were just long enough to get it out, and they have their eight-man pick going to the strong. No, that was a tackle. Prairie View is on attack. Oh. My guy came in offside. And it's definitely going to cause more house. And so it looks like Prairie View is probably going to kick for their territory. No, I'm sorry, guys. They actually did something that they're running for it. But this this man was caught. More house caught him, flipped him, and then they threw that ball out. The footwork for these things. These players are crazy. He's holding them up. They're holding them up. It's this a mall. Is it's called a mall. It we're is a mall. Shopping, unless we're going shopping for the ball. Um, but essentially, it's... Oh. Looks like tensions are high, but it's worthy. This is why we're here. Ooh, a little hostility on the field right here, guys. Friends, worthy is family. But this is a contact sport, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not okay with getting roughed up, you probably don't want to be out here. Just to see these guys go ahead and shake that off the way that they did. And it's a very nice job. We got to shout out the ref for maintaining the peace on the field as well. Early push came in from Morehouse. Looks like the ref is going to blow it up. Ball is going to remain at Prairie View. He's going to take a quick pet. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. He's going the scrum half. Wait a minute. No, oh, no. Scrum half playing the ball on the ground. It's going to cost Morehouse the ball. Not releasing. Prairie View kicking for territory. What a kick. Line out. Coming soon. So, 
What are you saying? We gotta keep our head level. Oh, for sure. But I mean, such a high. This is anyone's game. It's just, what, 7 nothing. Yeah. It could go either way. It could go either way. But, you know, when people start getting tired because it is emotionally and physically exhausting on the body, things just go sideways. But, um, this is the ref. Shout out to the other teammates for, you know, keeping the peace. That ball in for He got it out just in time. That's a beautiful pop up pass that resulted in a knock on. Yep. So, basically, all we're going to do is move the scrum from the left side of the field to the right side of the field. I have been there multiple And we're going to do that whole thing again. Only this time, Prairie is going to put the ball in. You know, I have scrummed from one end to the next. Yeah. Back to back. Yes. To I back. do recall these things happening to us. You go from left side to middle. <laughs> the right side. Oh, right side. Oh, wait. Let's do a line out now. Oh, man. And you're just going, oh, those picks. <laughs> I just wonder why. <laughs> <sighs> the life of a Ford. We love it, though. But the scrums are low, and everyone's striding, and it is beautiful to watch. like this gonna be a reset. Fine. All right, ball's out. Morehouse running straight up with it. Oh, snapping. It looks like the forwards for Morehouse are most definitely ready for a crash here. You see them stacking up over there? Those men are ready. All right, we have a whistle blown by the ref. Looks like the ball was knocked forward. That happened from Morehouse, and so we're going to go ahead and scrum down. All right. Watch this scrum fold Looks like we're getting a little bit scrum heavy. Just a little bit, just a little bit, but they got it. This is definitely getting scrum heavy, guys. But they are so low, guys. The power comes from your legs, and they are driving, boy. Oh, the ref blew it up. We had an early push. Right, and the ref is going to blow it up, but we are not going to restart it, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like the ball was turned over, so Prairie View has lost it, and Morehouse is going to get it, and they believe in a quick tap, and they are going to get it out to these backs and let them run forward. All right. I think his name is Tyree. Oh, wow. So what looks like it happened was we had our number 14 for Morehouse running to it, and he lost the ball. Prairie View is bobbling, and it's a knock-on, which means we are going to definitely have a scrum down right here on the left side of the field. Ball's going back to Morehouse. Time to scrum down, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, we're getting a little scrum heavy here. This is probably the third one in the last two minutes. So the number nine are scrum half. You do see the wonderful headgear he has on. That is called a scrum cap. Um, it does protect your head in the scrum and protect, well, especially the locks. That way you don't get cauliflower ears. Um, because, you know, going through a lot of scrum can be detrimental to the ears. The ball is in. Morehouse is trying to get it out, and they did. Ball. Oh, and now we have a kick and chase coming in. Looks like the fullback. Oh, and who was brought down without any hesitation? And so the fullback, they are essentially the goalie of the rugby team. So if they, um, if they have any breakaways or tackles or anything, it is the job of the fullback to stop them from scoring that try. The penalty has been awarded, looks like, to... 
Prairie View from a high tackle on Morehouse. Prairie View is going to run this one up. And it's immediately bottled up by the forwards who are going for a mall, but it's dragged down by Prairie View. Right. And so now the penalty is going to be on Morehouse. Nope, lied. Prairie View got the penalty. Morehouse got the ball. Oh, he did try that fake pass. It almost worked. All right, the ref is getting a little bit on this whistle as the hostility in this game seems to be rising. So in order to maintain it, he's just going to call it as he sees it, apparently. Prairie View back 10 again on another penalty. Morehouse looks like they are going to take this one in. Let their, four, their seven, their flank go in to the tackle. And they have a beautiful ruck forming on his back. And another. All right, we have 17. We have a nice bag coming on in. Creating some momentum. Morehouse is just marching up the field. And they are really maintaining position. Oh, that's a beautiful tackle. But it did result in the offload. And they are still up. Morehouse is still driving. Won't be a mall, though. Nope, we're on the ground. All right, what's going to happen? All right, we have nine. Oh, the scrum going in. Ball has been stolen by Prairie View. Oh, no, oh, no that is a most definitely a high tackle by Morehouse. That is most definitely going to result in the penalty. Morehouse getting a little dangerous in this play. So they call us by the monkey tackle. And we have an injured player on the field for Prairie View. That's the second one for Prairie View. Nice but the game goes on. It's a nice boot. Tracked down by number 15. And he's going to oh, send it back. Kick. Hot potato. Oh, and oh, it's caught. Catch. Yeah, I can never do that. Yeah. Oh, it's a forward. That's Give him the ball. Man. That's a brick house. He's a brick. Dun, dun, dun. House. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, oh, snap. The fullback has come up. What was, okay, that, oh, brother. That's great hands. Great hands. But it was also the potential for it, yeah. For a deadly hit. Oh, snap. I think both teams, they need to slow down the ball. It's kind of hard to do that when the pressure's on like this. It really is, but that's why they're making mistakes. You know? Yeah. Field awareness is also going to have to be very big oh, for them. For sure. I don't think they're going to... This looks like they're playing 40 and 40. I don't think these are 20 minutes out. They're playing this right out. Oh, this is a, this is a full 80-minute full game. This is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Welcome to 40 minute half. I mean, great for us, but I'm sure awful for those playing right now. Nah, they probably love it too. All right. Prairie View's put in. Prairie View's keeping. Ball it technically came straight out, but their fullback is a really strong player. He keeps coming on up and making these plays, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't be surprised if he's one of the leaders. <laughs> right. We have another line now. That's only what the sec the third. Yeah. The third of this game. Definitely a lot of scrums, but not a lot of line outs. They've been doing a really good job of keeping this ball in play. I think personally I would rather do a line out than a scrum. I can see why. I can see why. Um, sure. Getting down in the scrum, coming out of the scrum, yeah. fighting that scrum. That's a lot of work on the body. Way to fight for that ball. Did you see that? I did also saw him come down. That was that was beautiful. You don't have a lot of people fighting for a ball, especially during the line out. Yeah. And it did cost for them to get it. And they're going to kick it back out. Yep. Do we have another line out? Yes, yes we, we do. do. I find it so interesting how people would rather kick for territory, but at the same point in time, I guess it does give everybody else a little moment to rest. 
Except you're a four, then you're in the line out. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone else, aka the bats, they definitely have a little burst in the top. They do. The scrums and, and the line outs yeah. and the rucking and. Yeah. yeah. They, they. And the crashing. Yeah, they. Um, beautiful thing to be a bat, for sure. Yeah. I love you, Fords. All of you. No matter where you are. I have my heart forever and always. Love and appreciate you guys. I did try fullback once. How did that go? It didn't. Okay. It's okay. Mark keeps trying to throw me in the back line for you guys, and I have no idea how that's ever going to work. I'm not a back. <laughs> I can do some back-like things at the forward. <laughs> I like to be in all the action. I think so too. I like to hit people. Like forwards me. definitely have the most fun. Oh, nice! All, all right. right, let's get in our. What do we? Oh, doing? okay. It's Here okay. The pressure. Again with the kick. Oh, he is a kick. Oh, and he is down. And we're gonna bring it back. Back, backing it up. I hope that's the captain talking to the refs. <laughs> Are they discussing the call? Oh, no one got the ball. Warehouse was like, it's not ours, we're not getting that it. That will be important. What's a rugby game without you? the rugby ball? All right, Morehouse is going to be back, back 10. Apparently, they roughed the kicker. And it's out. Did he touch it? Did he touch it? He touched it with one hand. Jarn. Six minutes left in the, the first, first half. I feel like this 40 minutes has gone by really fast. I agree. And it is time for another line out. The ref is building his tunnel. Players are evenly stacked and matched. Right at the 22. All right. Ball is juggled. Oh, that was a beautiful tackle. It was late, but it was beautiful. Prairie View fighting. Fighting. Refusing to go down. And now he is brought down. There's a ruck in progress. Okay. Purview is still up, still attacking. Okay, Morehouse finally got him down. Looks like there's going to be a ruck formed. Who's going to come out with it? Looks like they're sliding, so Purview most definitely came out with the ball. And the ball's been kicked, so Morehouse is trying to retrieve. Oh, Morehouse with a chase. And the stag. Tackle. Nice. Can you, this, oh, beautiful open field tackle by Morehouse. Oh, he was not ready at all. And the chase is on for the ball. Who's going to get it? To be? Oh, snap. Morehouse. Whoa. Morehouse is scrum half. Beautiful oh, try by right. Morehouse. That was some powerhouse rugby oh, action right that there. that was something. Looks like we do have a player down. That was a hard, hard hit. That led to the try, though. That was absolutely. That was. He sacrificed his body. In its entirety. But that was beautiful i couldn't have done that myself that was that that was a wide open field that was, tackle that i can't even put into words what that was it looks like we have shout out to this prairie view player who sacrificed his body for the morehouse try multiple players oh, multiple, oh, I see another multiple one. prairie oh, view players oh, on the ground that right now oh that was something else we definitely have to oh wow and motion. it looks like the ref is the ref calling no try or try what is the ref calling oh 
this is a plot twist in the events, people. Oh yeah, no one saw that coming. Alright, so rugby is very unpredictable. And so while it looks like the try was not awarded, waiting on word back from the ref about what that could have been with it. Did you see anything? I thought it was a try, but you know, we talked about me not having the best vision insurance. Oh yes, we did talk about that. I have an optometrist appointment on Monday. You're more than welcome to come. I may need to stay in town and attend that um, appointment. This Looks is like very it's going interesting. to be a scrum. I am floored. Wow, I wonder what that could have been. Just yep. It was a knock on and it's going to be Prairie View's ball. That is crazy. Morehouse needs to put their head down and get this ball. I am I have I am shook it. Is that a word? Mm. Wow, that was such a beautiful play. I mean if if Morehouse if we win this scrum then then they have the potential of scoring a try, but that was I mean, very if they interesting. Here, they, win play. The score, they definitely need to kick it out far away from there. I wonder what that is going on over there. Are they still cooking? All right, Morehouse, very much inside the twenty-two. They capitalize here, can lead to a score. The scrum was turned. Big wheels keep on. Big wheels keep on turning. That was something. This is crazy. This is something strange. <laughs> All right, one minute and thirty-three seconds left in the half. Right now, seven nothing in favor of Morehouse. Prairie View's ball, scrum is in. Ball's in. Nice push. Right, whistle's blowing. Prairie View is doing everything they can to stop Morehouse from getting this ball back. But it looks like... The ball's been awarded to Morehouse, so now all they have to do is hold on to possession and get that ball out of there. Anything can happen in this scrum. Oh, and the scrum half is taking it, and Morehouse is in for the try. That is that some beautiful. Amazing. That's a I don't beautiful. I think I have the right words for what I just witnessed. This was some next level try. Like, did you see that fake? I did. That was I can never do a fake because I'm scared I may, mean, you know, break my really old ankle. <laughs> but they're so hyped and I'm getting hyped just watching them so excited. This is absolutely beautiful footwork by the scrum half. And that was the official time for the first half. We are 40 minutes in, halfway there. We have another beautiful 40 minutes coming. We're just waiting on the conversion kick. Which looks like... The score is going to be 12 nothing in favor of a Morehouse. All right, looks like we are on the ref's time at this point because while the score board shows no time The ref is allowing play to continue And so Morehouse got the ball up out of the air Penalty to Prairie View not releasing on Morehouse looks like that's a common trend today 
that teams will not be releasing the ball when they go to ground and constantly costing them possession. It's so hard to release the ball. So quickly, anyway. All right, Prairie View's driven out of bound by Morehouse. Right at the 22. Morehouse is going to get the ball back. Alright, line out is set. Let's see what's gonna happen. Morehouse is most definitely throwing in and they retain the ball. And then they had a knock on, looks like. Scrum time. From a lineup to a scrum in a matter of six seconds. Purview's gonna get the ball. Candy. I'm still shocked at the last try we just witnessed. I need you to unshock. Unshock. This is a beautiful diagonal line. Like they have definitely oh, got sure. this down. Oh, for sure. It is giving me this airplane vibe, and I am liking it. We are ready for takeoff, ladies and gentlemen. Like this is this is good. All right. Ball is oh, out. Oh, oh, Ball is oh, out oh. on Prairie View with no one retaining and it looks like Morehouse is coming for that tackle. They were like, man, give me that. High tackle on Morehouse. That's a no-no. You have to get low, guys. Have to get low. Boggling the ball on Prairie View. And it's a knock on. Was that ball knocked on by a forward? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. It's another scrum. 20 seconds later. Oh no, he's not a forward. Never mind. Nope, he is a forward. Okay. He didn't move like a forward. Alright guys, halftime is coming up. Right, more health with the ball gonna have it on the scrum. And we are expecting them to go ahead and pull this ball back out of here as they have been dominating. Absolutely dominating the scrum. But both teams have been holding their own and getting their own balls out, so be interesting to see. Haven't been many steals today, if any. Balls in for Morehouse. Balls out for Morehouse. Morehouse is definitely attacking. They have their number 11 pushing up the field. He was quickly brought down. And it looks like the ref is going to go ahead and blow this whistle and call it at the half. Oh, on second thought, I don't know if he's calling time or if he's going to discuss with these players. But it looks like he's calling time. At least for the half. And there may be an injured player on the field this time for Morehouse. Very interesting turn of events watching the game as opposed to being in it. And the ref is just consistently giving these guys the opportunity to play. It's like every penalty he allows the time to continue which is beautiful. Oh. The fullback for Prairie View, however, is just dominating this game. And I mean absolutely dominating. And I mean from fakes to kicks to fast breaks. He is absolutely putting, pulling his weight and supporting his team. Ball has been poached by Morehouse, and they are causing a maul. Oh, this is a maul. But it's going, going down. Shopping. He is going down. 
Morehouse still has the ball. Quickly brought like down by the fullback. Tackle. Looks like there was a high tackle, Candy. You're absolutely right. By the fullback, ball's going to stay with Morehouse. Guys, you got to play safe. You high think tackles. they're going to go with a pod or if they're going to kick it out? I am seeing a pod form. However, I don't know how certain that they are that they're going to give it to this pod. It looks like he might actually just go. So a pod is essentially oh. where you have your forwards. Um, in a penalty, you give the forwards, you know, your stronger um, players, and they essentially take the ball in and crash and try to gain as much distance as they can. All but in right. this case, they didn't use the pods. They, they just, just kicked did. the ball out. We are halftime. All right, guys. And so it's time for our favorite time of the show. Sponsorships. Shout outs. Excellent. And so today, we have to go ahead and shout out Gift Time Rugby Network. Rugby News and Entertainment site that focuses on spotlighting rugby players and events through live sporting broadcasts, sports talk shows, podcasts, spotlight articles, and other original programming. Gift Time Rugby Network, translating rugby for you. Find us at www.giftimerugby.com or on social media at Gift Time Rugby. Hi, I'm Kayla. And I'm Chisa. We are the founders of Pedal a proud sponsor of the HBCU Rugby Classic. Yep. Pedal is a platform for students to raise money for college. Visit our site, start a campaign, and then we send all of the money you raise directly to your school in the form of a scholarship. This summer, we're debuting our common application for scholarships, a platform where students can go fill out a single application and apply to thousands of scholarships at one time. What? So be a part of our first class of students to have access to win scholarships by signing up at pedal.com slash common app. Right here, hey. www.pedul.com slash common app. And look out for us. Hey, this is HBC Rugby Classic. You're gonna have a great time. Hey, congratulations to the winner already. Congrats. We're out here. Look out for us, thank you. You've probably heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It turns out, it may be true. Many studies have shown that Eating a healthy breakfast before the start of a school day is linked to improved concentration, better test scores, increased energy, higher intake of vitamins and minerals, and even healthy body weight. If healthy breakfast is good for the student, it is also good for the athlete, the elderly, the retired, and the family as a whole. Let me introduce you to Superior Breakfast Mix, the baking mix for the health conscious consumer. Superior Breakfast Mix is made with a blend of high quality, wholesome and unprocessed flour. We blend buckwheat flour, oat flour, flax meal and wheat jam to create a highly nutritious breakfast mix. Rich in fiber, which is good for your colon health rich in plant protein, rich in vitamins and minerals, contains no dairy, no eggs, no nuts, no soy. So order your superior breakfast mix because at Health Enhanced Foods, we make the food you love with the nutrition you need. Hundred and forty four meters by seventy meters. Fifteen or seven aside. Run or kick forward. Pass backwards. Tackle low and proper. Rugby is one of the fastest growing sports in the nation. Men and women of all ages are picking up the ball. We're entering a new generation of rugby. The Gift Time Rugby Network is here for you. We want to inform you. We want to entertain you. And we want to provide the best live coverage of rugby events that you can access. National, club, college, and under 19. Gift Time Rugby Network is here to translate rugby for you. Check us out online and don't forget to subscribe. Come on out. Preview set to go ahead and kick. Morehouse set to receive. And again, my name is Tamiera Tank Nash.
Yes. Hey. I prefer the tank. And but she runs like a tank. I do, you guys. And my stiff arm is lethal. I mean, you shouldn't brag about yourself. I need oh, to brag about yourself. Oh, okay. You. Well, let's talk about how Candy... Candy can move up the field? Yes, she can. Oh, you... wait. I just burned up. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. It's hard. I don't feel like it's bragging. I feel like it's self-awareness, acknowledgement. I like that. I like that. You know, you got to be proud of the things that you can do. I mean, people just don't expect folks to move. And then you know, you're a little side step or a little spin. And they say, like, you, you know, you're okay. gone. I'm, I'm in open space. Oh, they're coming. <laughs> I mean, I don't run too fast, but, you know. It's I so can't. hard to defend from behind. <laughs> 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 All right. Prairie View with the kick. It's up. We got the fullback, oh, and he is away. literally driving through, and he threw the ball away. But it's okay, because it was retained by his teammate, who was trying to get to the outside. He's fighting. He's fighting. We're just getting across the 50. They actually got brought back about 10 yards, meters. All right. Prayer View's going to get the penalty. Well, Morehouse got the penalty. Prayer View got the ball. Do you see a new animosity coming out of Prairie View this early? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That One ball stayed days. in. That ball stayed in. What? Knocked Barrett. forward by Morehouse. Scrum. Time. First scrum of the second half. Huh? The extracurricular activity do we see here? Are they fussing again? I tell you, these guys are worse than the girls sometimes. Hey, that's what happens when tensions are high. But it's a beautiful game nonetheless. I mean, it is. It is. It's a little nippy outside. Just a wee bit. I'll tell you, it's been a beautiful day for work, guys. I have watched so far. This is my sixth matchup of the day. And I have been impressed in all of them. Kids came out and showed out today, and now we have these two amazing college programs, HBCU college programs, and they are literally lighting up the field. It looks like Prairie, Prairie View, View is on the board. Okay, Prairie View. Oh, they came out from the um, halftime just ready to play. Yes, they I did. Bet coach was hella motivational, huh? <laughs> I wonder what he could have said. No, you're taking Stop the bus home or something. I don't, yeah, know. I don't know how you're getting back, but you're not Ooh, getting on my ride. One day as soon as we get back. That's enough for me, Liz. Yeah, that's Put my that's a call out sick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, coach. I have a paper. <laughs> but this is absolutely beautiful. Today. Prairie View is on the board, which means we now have a beautiful game. Oh, no, we are waiting a on a game. conversion kick. And then we'll update you guys on the score. Oh, and the kick is good. We have a game. 12 to 7. Still anyone's game. Still anyone's With over 30-something minutes left. Yeah. Game Let's started. play some rugby. But what did I say about the second half? It's just like a brand new game. As a comeback. Gonna be so interested to see what happens next. They got their momentum up. They're hyping each other up. Morehouse. Everyone feels hydrated. Most definitely. That's very important, guys. Drink your water in advance. And get a race and Pedialyte, you know. Yeah, Pedialyte is your friend. If you're a rugby player, you know Pedialyte is your friend. <laughs> All right. And the kick from Morehouse to Prairie View. Fullback coming on up. Oh, and the kick. Oh, he is chasing the ball, too. And he, then we had, ooh, and he's laid out. I wonder what happened there. What did you miss? Morehouse on the quick tap brought down by Prairie View who was penalized recently. And now we're gonna go ahead and try and get Morehouse to the ground, looks like. Morehouse going straight up now, straight up now. Good support. 
Oh, this is a response to that try they just witnessed. Oh, but Prairie View is applying the pressure. They are not allowing them to get much of anything right now. All right, and with all that pressure, they finally made a mistake, and okay. it looks like Morehouse's scrum half is going to be dominating up the field. Oh, snap, we got a sloppy pass, but they recovered. College with this thing. And it's a scrum to Morehouse on the penalty from Purdy. And we have 35 minutes and 53 seconds on the clock. Anybody's game, I tell you. Literally. I must have been not what they used to be. <laughs> Welcome to the old lady club. Oh, they don't even flex right no more. <laughs> Look at it. It's so light of a muscle. <laughs> Ball's in. Ball's, Ball's out. out. Morehouse going up the field. Morehouse he found a hole. He found it. And it's a try to Morehouse. Like we yes. said, everybody's in anybody's game. Anybody's game. And Morehouse right. showing you why it should be theirs. Back up five with a quick response to Prairie View. Oh, that was a, that was a good response. That was a beautiful response. And it happened so quickly. It's always the best part. It's always the best part to show you how quickly things can change but pray if you fought for that the score is going to be a hot 19 to 7 in favor of Morehouse they are back up pray if you on the board anybody's game Oof, I love these lights this is such a wonderful time to play rugby. I would like to play rugby at night. I would love to play rugby at night, too. Premier game is beautiful. Yeah, for sure. Well, wouldn't it been, have been awesome if we had a women's HBCU 15 thing We need going to get on? the ladies out here next year. Oh, my goodness. That would be lethal. We must get the ladies out here. Gotta Maybe put together HBCU a special team. I would like to do that. <laughs> yeah. I can play for the women and also Oh, the kick was up. Anthem. That did not travel 10. That did not go 10. Nope. But which two women's HBCU rugby teams would you like to see put together? Which oh. ones do you know of? I'm sure there's some out there. We're going to look this up. Google is our friend, ladies and gentlemen. We just have to figure out which of them. But and we, we got to call them. This is a beautiful thing we have here. We need more HBCU teams to, to step up and come you know show us what they, what they should get. start an HBCU team, women? Southern. Oh, that would be a good team. Think about that. We could get the jukebox out here. Oh, that's a whole family reunion. And Jackson State. Southern and Jackson All State. Right. Or even Grambling. If you guys are listening, get your teams together. We need to see you guys out here next year. Come on, ladies. Let's get in formation. Oh, oh yes. It will be pro. I hope you don't get a copyright issue with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this guy from Morehouse is absolutely dominating. All right, we got the scrum half. He's going to dig. He's digging, boy. Put your back into it. And the ball's out. <laughs> oh, oh, they were stopped hard. All right, coming back this way. Okay, scrum. Ooh. Wow, per... Oh, Prairie View, they are not letting Morehouse go through. Talk about a whole wall. Oh, talking to the captain. You gotta calm your team down. You Get to calm your team down. All right, it looks like the ref is doing some talking over at Morehouse. All right, and we're back in. OK, 
kick the touch. So we have another line out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am online. I'm looking very hard to differentiate when you don't know what these schools are. <laughs> People do before we go to cell phones. And like, how did they get information? They called, maybe? They called with what? The landline? I mean, you said cell phones, and I guess the landline and the phone book well, could I work. Mean, Google. Operators. So we're just going to call this number and ask, like, what HBCU teams are out there? Or I mean, I would hope somebody would have some information. What is Google doing? Clearly not giving you the information you need. Yeah, that's hurting my feelings oh, a little that bit. That was a beautiful line out. It went backwards. Oh, that's all that matters to me. There we go. Still going backwards. There we go. Oh, he is going forward. Oh, <laughs> no joke. Oh, they want this now. They know, like, it is within their grasp. There goes the fullback with the kick, and he is chasing. I mean, it looks like he's close enough to get it. He's like, if I'm oh, not. Oh, oh, he oh, it, oh, oh, he, oh, well. That's a forward pass, most definitely. I mean, thank God, you know, the ref has that good, uh, good vision insurance. You know, there is a scrum. Another no no in rugby is to knock the ball forward. That's right. We don't do forward. We like everything backwards. We, we do. We really do. This isn't football, it is rugby. And we like it better. Wonderful scrum. They get so low. Okay. All right. Come on, Prairie View. Prairie View is marching, you guys. You have no idea the fight and the intensity. What their band looks like, cause they are giving me some. Oh, and Morehouse with the poach. Oh, he's going him like a rag doll. <laughs> Not the rag doll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but the hands. Oh, and the feet. Was this that is, a switch pass? It I was thought? a switch pass. Okay. I've never been successfully able to do that, so I'm very impressed. He is rushing. I guess the gator roll is still legal. It looks. I love the gator roll. I usually hesitate. I do not. We're flipping I never everybody. Know when to use it or you know when to try to contest, but you know we live and we learn. He's gonna kick it. He. Oh. Um. Kick it with touch. Oh. oh. Is it? Oh, oh, no. The poor camera. The poor camera. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we had the penalty committed by Morehouse and the kick from Prairie. Well, I'm sorry. Penalty committed by... Prairie View in the kick from Morehouse, which is resulting in a line out. Morehouse is going to retain possession. And we're up and we're contested. Oh. And the ball bounced to Prairie View. But Morehouse, oh, Morehouse recovered. recovered. Oh, oh he I is moving. Spin move. I did. And it offload, but the offload was broken up by a Prairie View player. And Prairie View has regained the ball. And the fullback, who has been our star player from going Prairie for View, jog. going for a quick jog off the field. I'm wondering if it's an injury, if he's tightened something or pulled something. He needs a water break, but we're hoping to see him return soon as he has been. Oh, he's been an asset to that team for sure. Most definitely keeping them in the game. Yes, now is as good a time as any to go ahead and shout out some of our sponsors. Starting with the Stroma High School, visit Baton Rouge, Gordon McCarran Injury Attorneys, Get Legal with Attorney Tyler, 
Helton Hand Foods, Mark Steve Guillory, the NAACP, and Louisiana Rugby. Right now we do have an injured player on the field and that must have been why time stopped. And so we are just going to take a moment and allow them to regain themselves, their composure, and hopefully remain in this game. But it does look like he's hurting. I hope it's nothing too serious. I would hope not. I didn't see that either. It's kind of interesting how yeah, quickly it happened. Yes, yes. Know. Is that our 17? It is. He's the guy who just had that really beautiful breakaway after recovering the ball off the line out. And the spin move. Yes, he did. That offload. I think it would have been the offload. It looks like somebody fell on him afterwards. In the meantime, we would like to give a shout out to Memphis NS City Rugby. Expanding academic and athletic opportunity in low-income communities through the power of rugby. And also to Bedul, where students have raised thousands of dollars for school. This summer, they're debuting their universal scholarship, where students can fill out one application and apply to thousands of scholarships at one time. Again, this is great. Um, you can also sign up at Bedul.com slash common app. And we have to shout out the home team. Gift, gift time, egg blue of gift time rugby network. My Nigerian brother. All right, we're Thank gonna shout out gift man. time rugby network for bringing us the second HBCU rugby classic. Okay, it also features a music fest. Gift time rugby network, most known for being a rugby network entertainment site that focuses on spotlighting rugby players and events through live sporting broadcasts, sports talk shows, podcasts, spotlight articles, and other original programming. Gift Time Rugby Network, we are always translating rugby for you. Find us at www.gifttimerugby.com or on social media at Gift Time Rugby. Well, you might be lucky and see a picture of me and Candy doing a great job today. Because hey. we're doing it, guys. I look good on All right, Morehouse still looking for that edge. Most not held. That was a not held call. You can relate to that, huh? Oh, I love those not held. Look at Morehouse okay, still Morehouse. dominating. Touching down for another try. I mean, Prairie View, they are doing a great job holding them, though. Like, I am telling you. Yeah, those quick tries aren't happening as like, quickly this, as they were. some Alabama-looking defense right now. Oh, my gosh. Must you bring them into everything. Shout out the, the tides, man. This has been excellent, though. This this is absolutely beautiful to watch. I would like to see them play like, in their regular season because I bet they dominate. I would like to see both of them in their regular season, to be honest. It's kind of interesting. It seems like Prairie View has some beautiful defense. However, Morehouse's ability to create the hole yeah, sure. and then punch it. But I'd like to see both of these two teams do a lot better is run straight. Yeah. They do have this habit of tap dancing and hopscotching their ways to the sideline. Tap dancing in jazz class. <laughs> you know. It's a rugby field. We, we like things to go. Well, actually, no. We say we want everything backwards. So I guess they can hopskip and jump whatever I mean, way they you want. You can moonwalk. That is backwards, right? <laughs> Won't get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going to dance, that's the only dance that we accept around here. Hey. But, I mean, if you run from one side to the next, like, you have gained no advantage and... You're just tired at that point, you know? Oh, I used to be so tired. I remember my first year of playing, when I used to literally just run from sides. I'm going to go hit this person. I'm going to, you know what? I'm not going to go over there. I mean, <laughs> there are eight other people over there. Do I need to go? <laughs> the older you get, the wiser you become. <laughs> and the more breath you have. <laughs> oh, for sure. Those used to be some exhausting games. All right. This is absolutely beautiful play. Oh, the scrum half with that faking. The ability to offload like that is amazing. 
Oh, nope, that's the forward pass. Knock on. All right, we're back with another injured player. This time, back at Prairie View. I hear them yelling for the trainer. All right, looks like we got our injured player up. I don't really think they're so much as injured as much as needing a moment to rest. <laughs> Definitely. Because they all really... Moments, and you thank the person very much. It is. It's like you just stay there as long as your name. It's all good. We do not fault you, young man. No, definitely not. It's, it's very well appreciated. Come down. Come down. Down in our life. <laughs> if y'all didn't know Candy's hidden talent, she sings. You're right. I have so many talents. That's why I should have sang the national anthem. You should have done a lot of things like play today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, anyway, the scrum looks very nice. It looks like Morehouse retained the ball. Morehouse lost the ball. And a rep is being made to actually stop them from coming offside. It's very interesting. Prayer view with the coach and the offload. And he is running. He is running in a clear space. Easily brought him down, though, by Morehouse's defense. And they pushing people around. They kind of being kind of rude. Oh, my God. Y'all, y'all got to let All right, I'm done. Hey, we're doing great. Saturday is the rugby day. Saturday is the rugby day. I will drive to the ends of the earth for rugby. As gas goes down. Valley Point, Valley Point. <laughs> or if you drive a Prius. Oh. I mean, Honda's a good on gas, too, I guess. I got a Bishi. Yeah, I got a Honda. I guess they're all right. Yeah, they're all right. It's a, not a ride pretty smoothly. You know. Those accelerations are like... Okay, with the kick. Wow, and the, the full, full bay is back. 
What a cat. Oh, oh, oh my oh, God. The stunner said he really just flew this defender off of him. You I guys have no idea. like that. Who is this? From uh, Prairie View. He has a problem every time somebody touches him. It's as though he doesn't believe in the tackling part of rugby. Um... That's, a, that's very fundamental. Maybe he played golf or, you know, tennis in high school where you didn't have to get tackled. I, I mean, I don't hey, understand this. Or maybe he was in the band. I didn't have to get tackled in the band, so this might be a new Yeah, a but new I still situation. face some stuff in there. I just feel like taking these hits a little to heart. You, you, you've had your uh, your fair share of, I have. of some awkward moments on the rugby pitch. I have, I like, have, but not as frequently as this. That's fair. You know, if you want it bad enough, like... Oh, wow. Come on, big boy. That is I love something. those forwards. You saw him just roll away like a tidal wave? Hey. Oh, that, that down and that up. forward. Morehouse, knock forward, scrum down to Prairie View. I mean, he did attempt to kick the ball forward, but I guess it was too late. See how that forward got up hurt? He was hurt. He was hurt. He was hurt, hurt. <laughs> he heard them say knock forward. <laughs> that was all it took. You know when you get hurt and then you're so embarrassed you have to do like that nice uh, two-step jump? <laughs> <laughs> we all have our coping mechanisms. You tell yourself I'm okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Where is my roster for Prairie View? My little slippy slip. That's on the floor. All right. Who is that? I have to know who that is that just keeps throwing a this fit like something. this. Here comes another scrum. All right, Candy, what do you see in this scrum? Oh, Morehouse oh, is not even dry. defending. They are just kind of letting them have that ball. And he is for life, Sometimes life. you just need to let it go. Oh, yes, with the tackle. It was a beautiful tackle as well. It was almost like a dump tackle, but thank the Lord he went down with him, huh? Yeah. That would have been a bad, bad thing to see. Looks like the ref is telling them to cool down again and get ready for another scrum. I wonder what the, the forwards are thinking right now. Right now, I kind of <laughs> have to give it to who is this. It looks like he's got a zero on his back for nine. I have to give it to him because he took that dumb tackle like a champ. I mean, sometimes you just, you can never let the competition see you sweat. I felt his, that hit in my back. In my back. And if I was down there, I would have been screaming, concussion! <laughs> Time, sir. Look at him stay on his feet. Oh, that man is driving. moving. And it's a penalty. Oh, and he is livid. <laughs> he is livid. Oh, he is pissed. Prairie View is showing their frustration right now, ladies. As the calls are not going in their favor. Well, regardless of how pissed you are, it's still a team sport, and you have to be there till the final whistle blows. He's on the field, but he is upset. That's where sportsmanship needs to come in. Sportsmanship, your team needs you. It's kind of interesting. I wonder that is it the ref? Is it his teammate? Who is he upset with? Maybe his pride. I don't know, but he needs to get it together and get his head back in the game if he expects his team to win. Prairie View down right now, guys. Score 24-7 with 12 minutes. And rugby is still anybody's game. However, if they keep losing their heads, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a target on their back. I don't think people realize that. You never want to piss off your rep. Remain respectful, remain humble, and play your game. That's all you can do. Play your game. Again, such a beautiful contest. Even though the score is like 24-7, they have been playing some beautiful rugby. It's not like any one team had anything just given to them. They have been playing their hearts out for this. And that's something beautiful, I can say. So right now, it looks like the ref is talking to them yet again. And we are going to go ahead and prepare for this scrum. Ball underway. Time is down to 11.50. On the clock, just kind of wondering what the ref has as far as time on his end. I feel like the ref has also been very level-headed this entire like, tournament. Has it been the same refs all day? 
That's a beautiful fake. Oh, but it resulted in the ball going out of bounds on Prairie View, but they tried it. This fullback's footwork is just absolutely lethal. I need his autograph. Because he is going places for sure. I wonder if they're getting eaten up by mosquitoes. Um, I don't think they feel it at this moment. They'll feel it later. Oh, for sure. All right. Like I mentioned earlier, the Prairie View. And so this means it's more houses ball. My name is Tank Nash, and I'm still here with Candy, and we have been highlighting this for you guys all day thanks to Gift Time Rugby Network. Special shout out to Gift yet again. My Nigerian brother. And they're up, and they're down, and it's more houses ball. Prairie View putting on the pressure. They're back in there. Oh. Boba Morehouse found the gap. But it was ruined by the fullback. The fullback would not let it go. I'm telling you, it's the highlighter types he has on. It must be it. I need to invest. All right. So we have another injury. It looks field. like it. They fall a lot. I thought we were supposed to be having 80 minutes of not being hurt. I mean, that's usually the plan, but, you know. Like Things you said, happen. Rugby, you just never know. <laughs> It is very, very into watch. It really has. Like, I am glad this was the highlight match. But now next year, we do need the ladies out here. Oh, yes. I will be looking for you. The research is on. All right. It looks like our injured friend is standing, communicating. That's important. Talking to medical staff. Maybe a check. It's kind of interesting wondering who she is talking to exactly. I can't tell if it's just a player or the ref. Candy, when are you guys driving back to Bama? Um, I have no idea. You guys got planned for tonight. We're just, um, you know, just enjoying, along with the flow. Enjoying the Baton Rouge scenery. Just enjoying all things Louisiana has to offer. Crawfish. You know, no thoughts may drive back home. There's, just, there's no telling. I'll go wherever the wind blows. I like that. I like that a lot. This has been such a wonderful experience. I am so glad that we were able to take part in this. See you see next time, same year. It was an honor to be part of this event for sure. Shout out to my Nigerian brother. Most definitely shout out to GIF. For the wonderful opportunity. Most um, definitely. Make sure you guys check out GIF Time Rugby Network. Always. Rugby related. Because we're translating rugby for you. All right, it's a scrum to restart this game. Just we are most. We are definitely. Oh, that was a horrible offload, but it had a oh, beautiful result. Oh, he is going. They oh, got he their is going for it. Oh, oh wow. yes, with the stiff arm, and it was worth every bit of it. I tell you, their fullback, his breakdown, every kick, everything. You he wants offer. to play, ladies and gentlemen. He oh, wants for to play. Sure. Oh wow. Their fullback is here to play, and he is not afraid of anything. Bluff blew a whistle. Looks like we have a penalty. Penalties on Prairie View. More. Man, I can't stop talking about that fullback. I don't know what's going on with these highlighter types of his, but they are making him a monster. I'm telling you, it's the highlighter types. Like, if I had to say so, that young man is giving me life. Does not highlight all that he has done to this team. Oh no. Or still 24 7. Morehouse trying to punch it in one more time, seems like. And Prairie View doing everything in their possible. In their, in their, um, in their, what's that word? 
What is Prairie Bee doing? Power to not let that happen. <laughs> I figured you were trying to say power. I just and yet you, you didn't figure it out on you. You could have helped me. Teamwork makes the dream work. I'm an instructor like that young sensei. Okay. Let us come down. You know it. If the forwards had a dollar for every time we had to do a scrum, we would be able to afford an, like an entree. Wow. <laughs> Probably get more back in my bag. Nope, can't relate to that at all. <laughs> All right, more houses ball, and they're running up. <laughs> Looks like half is. Trying to find a way, but it also looks like Morehouse kind of got the ball back, so I guess we had a post going on. Ball's out. They are most definitely getting tired. Prairie View is not firing up at all, but they are also matching numbers with the bags. It's a penalty back, 10 on Prairie View. will be very beneficial to Morehouse if they're hoping to score this try. Oh wow. Kick the touch. Right now it's set. It's getting kind of windy. I don't know where this ball is going to go. And it went to Prairie View. Was it Prairie View? No, I'm kidding. Oh. Morehouse. Nice. Find their, they found their way in to get that ball. Yes. And they are having a celebratory time. And they definitely probably hard for that all day. They probably feel the deal on this game. Oh, that. for sure. So we're going to call it 29-7 right about now, and there's a kick coming. Did that kick, was that kick good? Wow. That was something. 31-7 in favor of more house. Came in and dominated. However, I won't call it. Uh, I won't say it wasn't evenly matched. It was definitely. I mean, you know, we all can be winners. I think from tail to tail, Prairie View did a wonderful job oh, at staying held with them. them. Hard. Like they while. held their own in this game. Like they had to work. It to seems get them like try for sure. Ultimately, it just seemed like Morehouse capitalized on their weapons a little better. I think it's got to be a tale of penalties. And Prairie View did sit on the. Unfortunately, turnover side of them. Okay, look at full back to the rescue. Oh, he. The ball's going in the touch, but it was hopefully last. Well, I won't say hopefully, but it looks like last touch by Morehouse. But we'll see who gets the ball. Because it was Prairie View's kick. And I don't know if the ref is going to let it go with the knock on or the out of bounds.
Last touch by Morehouse. Ball to Prairie View. All right, line outs happen, ladies and gentlemen, when the ball goes into touch. Into touch means out of bounds in rugby. So then the players match numbers in the tunnel, and a player from one team throws the ball in, and they contest for it. And they just did a nice little short one, and they let the forward take it and crash it up the field, which was beautifully executed. But then Morehouse was able to go Morehouse ahead and get that ball. Coach. Prairie View is continuing to show you that they are not the one to play wet. That is correct. I wonder if they have a women's team. I don't think they did. Wow. But Prairie View is crashing, my love. They are crashing. It's taking two and three guys from Morehouse to go ahead and get them in, get them down. So, I mean, that strength is obviously there. Now, if we can get our full back into action here, oh, and we he can, and he is trying his hardest to make it happen for Prairie View. But we are on the ref's time. The ref is going to be calling a penalty. And it looks like they are giving the ball back to Prairie View. And our fullback is going to get his try today. He is trying his hardest to get his try today. Oh, he definitely needs a try. He's put in so much work. He's making me tired just looking at him. Yeah. But I must invest in his highlighter tights for sure. The superpowers, I oh, tell for you. For sure. They have some magic going on there. Yes. Oh. Not, he had the guy, I don't know his name or anything, but he had like pink hair. But he also got thrown out the game for a high tackle. So. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Yeah. So you didn't want to get him for him? Mm -hmm. uh, wait, wait. Who's their fullback? We actually want to give it to Caleb for PVM. That okay, fullback. Let me ask you, between a Morehouse scrum half and PBMU's fullback? Like, the fullback. Oh, the fullback. Most definitely. Yes, most definitely. Okay. Caleb. That's it, folks. That is most definitely it for the second annual HBCU Rugby Classic and Music Fest. We had great music, great games, six beautiful games, five of which were played by Memphis Inner City Rugby and the NOLA Rugby Barbarians, men and women's side. And then lastly, Baton Rouge Youth Rugby. Special game between Prairie View A&M and Morehouse College ended in a 31-7 game total in favor of Morehouse College. And so it was very great hosting with you guys. I'm Tamiara Tank Nash here with my favorite Ford Candy. The African Queen. That's and me. we had such a wonderful time announcing this game oh, for you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys back here next year for the third annual HBC Rugby Classic. Next Bye. Year, guys. I think is, is something that people greatly underestimate. So uh, at this time, I, I want to be able to present uh, awards and uh, to be able to uh, present this award, we have uh, Baton Rouge Mayor uh, Sharon Weston Broom. So please give a round, big round of applause. Congratulations to everybody participating, high school, college level. Um, you all are putting rugby on the map, HBCUs, and are now our high school students. 
I will tell you that I had a conversation with media today about what you're doing and don't be surprised if you get a phone call because I believe everybody needs to know about HBCU. Congratulations, congratulations to all of the uh, winners. And uh, this is the second year that you've hosted this, and we look forward to it getting bigger and bigger every year. Congratulations. All right, so we want to start off with our player of the matches. Uh, first off, uh, congratulations to MICR. Thank you for the travel. Great job. Thank you. So for the first award for MICR player of the match, uh, we want to present it to Kamaya. Can I get Kamaya up here? Congratulations, Kamaya. All right, so we also have an award for uh, the player of the match for the Barbarians. And uh, for this year, for 2019, and hopefully again, if we get another chance next year, uh, at looking for Nyla to come up for Nola Barbarian. She left. All right, so it, <laughs> we'll hold it for her and uh, so we can make sure we can get it over there. Um, for, all right, so uh, we had one for Baton Rouge Youth, but I think they all left, so we'll get it to them in time. All right, uh, so for the Morehouse versus uh, Prairie View A&M, the HBCU Rugby Classic, congratulations to Morehouse for winning. I think we got a real rivalry going on here between you guys. <laughs> um, but we want to award uh, the player of the match as voted by our announcers and, uh, and, and our commentators. Uh, can I get uh, Caleb Ross of PVMU? <laughs> <laughs> Great work, you guys. But I have the pleasure of awarding as a coming off from last year, coming strong on the comeback and showing the edge, the 2019 HBCU Rugby Classic Champions, Morehouse College! <laughs> Get you guys up here! <laughs> Guys, we thank y'all for inviting us here. Uh, HBCU Rugby is uh, something important to us, and we take it very seriously. We love this sport, we love this game, and we love the uh, community. This is all for the culture, and we continue to expand this and be a forefront for this. So we thank y'all. Awesome. <laughs> thank you guys for all coming. And, uh,